What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today, cameraman Nick and I got invited out to New York City to film one of the most expensive and rarest sneakers that is gonna be coming out for the next 10 to 20 years, in my opinion. So we don't have much time to go film this thing. Let's go ahead, head to New York City. Let's go. guys so we are out here with sneaker con they brought us out here and gave us the opportunity to unbox one of the rarest sneakers that i think has come out in the last 10 to 20 years that you can see right here in this massive box now you might be able to tell by the title of thumbnail what this shoe is but this is exactly how the package was delivered from the delivery carriers from the sneaker now how was this shoe acquired maybe we'll go into it a little bit once we start unboxing stuff but this shoe right here was actually won on a bid at sotheby's auction and this is one of the craziest mind-blowing shoes. I think we're gonna be one of the first people to do a full unboxing on YouTube. So shout out to SneakerCon for having us out here to be able to do this and showcase it on our channel. I'm so excited. This is about to be one of the craziest unboxings literally ever on this channel. Let's go. Okay guys, so the time has come to do the unboxing. We have been trying to discuss how we're gonna approach even opening it. So if you check out, this is basically like a tarp that's protecting it. And there's a box within this tarp here that weighs a good amount. So from what I know from this shoe, the box itself is like this big, but that's within another box with a lot of protection because this is a very valuable sneaker. So the top of this has a zip tie, kind of like off-white, now they have zip ties. So we're just gonna kind of go about that. We have like a delivery tag and everything. And uh, I'm like, I f is this? This is a bigger unboxing, Nick, than our most expensive mystery box that we just did last week, right? Yeah, off like one shoe. I, I don't even one know. One shoe. How, this is gonna be so insane. Yeah. Again, shout out SneakerCon because I don't. This is probably gonna be one of the craziest unboxings on YouTube, I think. And that's saying we just filmed a quarter million dollar mystery box literally last week, and uh, this is coming out after. It's gonna like banger after banger. I'm excited. So we're gonna take these scissors and open this up. So we're gonna cut it right here and kind of uh, see if we can get it. We got it. All right, the zip tie is cut. Oh man, let's open this up. Pull this off, save this. This is literally like an off-white zip tag. And I'm just gonna kind of open it like this. And I'm assuming there's going to be like a, um, just like a cardboard shipping box like normal. So, yep, correct. Pull this out. Boom. We have a box inside of a tarp. Right? There we go. There we go. All right. So, blank box, nothing on it. Within this is, I can't, can't contain my excitement. We literally flew all the way out here for this. That's why I'm so excited. There's not much for me to go on about the outside of the box. Um, I'm just gonna kind of get into it. They tape the outside and everything like normal. There's definitely no damage on this box. Oh no, this thing's perfect. <laughs> they took care of it and I'm glad they did. We do have gloves to open up the shoe. So we're gonna be doing that just to be careful. But we do have like a big thing of styrofoam in here. So that's exciting. Pull this out. That's exciting, piece of styrofoam. Why did I say that? Uh, all right, here we go. First things first, styrofoam. Is this LV styrofoam? I don't so know, exciting. maybe. <laughs> all right, let's see. Oh man. So now, if you can't tell, we have a massive Louis Vuitton box. So the shoe is within, this is like you're getting a normal Louis Vuitton package. The shoe is within that. So I'm gonna gear up with these um, gloves that just so happen to match how we're gonna be, what we're gonna be unboxing. So let's pull this out. Let's have a goofy with these gloves on. I'm gonna be very careful with this. Maybe we could pull the sides out, it might be easier. Yeah, I think it's gonna be easier. Pull this out here. They took really good care with this. That there, they do also give you a LV bag if you wanted to carry it out. And that's it besides stuffing on the inside. Whew, man, let's go. Seems like it was heavy. This heavy, this is, let me guess. I'm strong, I'm not strong. Oh my God, that's heavy. It's very top heavy on this side. Probably if I had to guess 20 pounds, I mean, this is that weak. Okay, so as it looks like it opens this way. Let's see, man. All right, we got more wrapping, more protection. This thing is super protected. Let's be careful with this box. All right, here we go. There it is. Woo, this is like, 
This is nuts. Let's pull this up. This is the main thing. I want to make sure there's nothing else in here. This is just more protection. So, here we go. There it is. Now, I think I know what colorway it is. I believe they're, they did specific like the Sotheby's auction was this specific colorway, so pretty sure I know what it is. I don't think it's gonna be like a surprise, but we'll see. LV box is safe. Should we put it like back there maybe? Put this to the side again. Shout out to your con for having us out. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. The freaking box in there is just straight orange. You guys know my favorite color is orange. I tell you that every video. Let's just do this thing. Oh my, I wish this was my pair. Look at the orange monogram. Dude, that is absolutely incredible. Oh my, that is beautiful. This doesn't even make sense for a box. I can't believe we're doing it. I get, we woke up at five o'clock this morning to come do this. Like, this is crazy. This is wild where YouTube takes you. So, all right, I think it opens this way, like this. So we have some clasps here. Check that out. They are covered with like a nice little sticky on them. There is a handle if you want to carry this uh, to like the market or something. And then that's about it. I believe, I wanna make sure how this opens. Is there a secret code? Or maybe depress these. You push in here, and that opens it up. Push in. Oh, you gotta push them, yeah. Yep, you gotta push them to open it up. And then, okay, so it doesn't open up like that. You have to open it this way. Ooh, here we go, we got our first look. Come in close right here. Louis Vuitton Air. So, these are the Louis Vuitton Air Force One designed by Virgil. Oh wow, this is crazy how this is coming out. So it slides out this way, like this. All right guys, I have to hop in here, give a shout out to me, the sponsor of this video, for the new Neville Racing Motorsport Drop that is coming out this Thursday at six Eastern. Here's some of the pieces, check out a preview. We have the Neville Racing logo on the front here. On the back, we have the nice Moto Club. This shirt right here is a puff print. So this is the back of the shirt. You have a whole puff print, like vintage style look, as well as the puff print rings logo on the front. Then we have a puff print hoodie, as you can see right here, with a nice logo on the front there. Sizing right here, I'm wearing a size XL, a little bit bigger, a little bit boxier, nice tight neck. The hoodie is gonna be more true to size. This is a size large, the t-shirt with an XL. This is a limited drop, not pre-orders. They're ready to ship. Once it's gone, it's gone. We are not restocking. The drop is happening on NevilleRacing.com on May 19th, this Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Get that out, oh my. Here we go, we got, there's a letter and everything, this to the side. I literally want this as baggage. This is like sicker than any LV bag that's come out. It's my, my laptop case. All right, so let's pull this out here, this little card. I'm gonna cover up the QR code. I don't know what it takes you to, but it says unlock a whole new universe of exclusive services and events with Louis Vuitton. Cover that up, I don't know if it's supposed to be shown or anything. On this side, we have Virgil was here. Sign of the times, the most authentic high-end sneaker ever made. Transcending fashion into an art object through craftsmanship, Virgil Abloh. Again, rest in peace, Virgil. That was kind of like crazy sudden news when that happened. I know a lot of people knew that he was battling that personally, but the public did not. So really awesome that we even have the opportunity to do this. Like I said, very thankful for that. And uh, I cannot wait to see what we have. So the card came with this. This is a nice like Alcantara, little like holder, like a picture holder. So we'll put that here. And then there's a nice, super nice, oh man. We have another Alcantara thing here and we have accessories. Let's go. Whew. Here we go, here we go. This is crazy. Accessories, right there. Let's pull these out. So it looks like we have an extra pair of laces. First up, let's pull out the laces. And right there, as you can see, it has the lettering, obviously like you do it off-white. Off Lace set, is that what it says? Lace set? Cause I know this is called an aglet up here, but usually it'll say, what is it, shoelaces on it, but I guess this is fancier, we got lace set. I might be saying that wrong, it looked dumb. And then we have kind of like a, like a luggage tag, which is absolutely beautiful. I don't even know if I'd put this on anything because this would just, people would be trying to take this. Nike swoosh luggage tag with the orange monogram LV here, Louis Vuitton Paris right there. Pretty nuts, super high quality leather. Really, I mean, it's Louis Vuitton. The quality of leather is gonna be great. 
Other than that, inside of here, we just have, um, this is Vachetta leather, and then the interior is textile, so it has like a little kind of information card. And then in here, I don't think this is gonna be anything that's that important, but we'll pull it out. This is a secret, secret envelope. It's a blank card. There's a number on this envelope, but I don't know if it means anything. I'm just gonna keep that, but blank card. Maybe you could like put, maybe you could put like a name in there or something. So that is the accessories. And then, oh man, is there anything else we can share in here? So if we come, before we look at the shoes, this is a quilted Alcantara interior. So come check this out. Quilted inside of here, you have a divider. That's like a nice plush Alcantara little divider. We're showing you all this because it's the experience. You're paying all the money and the, ex the exclusivity of this sneaker for the experience. So as you can see, again, a little squishy thing. We'll put this to the side. The shoes themselves, they come in two dust bags. Right here, you have Louis Vuitton Air. I know this is taking a while to get to the shoe, but guys, this is a, the experience. This is a part of it. Let's put this to the side here. And then here we go, the shoes. The time has come to unbox probably the largest grail sneaker in the past, I don't know how I can, like, if it makes sense, I think the past 25 maybe plus years. The, the story behind it, the fact that Virgil Abloh became so in ties with LVMH, with Louis Vuitton, started creating sneakers, combining streetwear, culture, and high-end fashion to this. This is where we accumulated, and the fact that Virgil passed away makes it even crazier, which is obviously sad, it's not a, a good thing, but the fact of the matter, so I'm gonna get to it. And I was expecting this colorway, and it is, oh man, this, oh, guys. Ready for it, Louis Vuitton, Air Force One. Wow, that is absolutely insane. Look at that, on the inside, let's check it out. Louis Vuitton for Nikes, covered up by the swoosh. A lot of attributes of the off-white Air Force Ones that had originally come out with the 10 and all other after that. But of course, we have these super high-end leather here with the different monograms from Louis Vuitton. So there's a Damier print, there's a regular print. This is a men's eight and a half. Super crazy leather quality. And let's see if the prints are different on each shoe. If the cuts are different, I'm not sure. Let's see. Nope, they're gonna be the same. So you have like the monogram print there, the swoosh all the way around in that light. I think it's called the Damier print, that light print there. And then from the different um, off-white collaborations, it would say like Beaverton, Oregon there, which is covered up. Uh, Louis Vuitton for Nike. It does not say that obviously on the Nike pairs. Uh, C1982 and Wow, so same pair of laces that came additional, came with the shoe, same thing, so just an extra set of laces, not a different color. For me, an orange lace would be perfect, but that's just me. Let's go ahead, before we talk a little bit more, let's get some in-close detail shots of the shoe. So we have a little piece of styrofoam here or like foam that we're gonna take off to see the tongue of the shoe. Let's pull this out. You can see here, it says Louis Vuitton Air, super thick padded tongue. The uh, size tag is on the inside here. And then uh, other than that, this shoe is like perfection. Louis Vuitton Paris here on the heel. And now obviously this is very similar to your regular Air Force Ones. The attributes of the off-white, obviously the quote air on the side. You have a super thick leather here, little tag hanging down in black. You have the monogram LV on the inside of the heel. Are we gonna see anybody actually wearing a pair of these? What do you think, Nick? Do you think it's gonna happen? I don't know. Somebody's I mean, gotta do it. DJ Khaled, somebody has to do it. These somebody's are, gonna wear them. These are obviously not my size. I'm not putting these on. They're not my shoe, but I think somebody should wear a pair. There's gotta be some crazy event that somebody could put them on. From the shoes, to the box, to the whole experience, kind of wild how they did it. Now, I inquired through my Louis Vuitton rep to try to get a pair. She laughed at me, literally laughed at me. I was like, you're not getting a pair, which is fine. I kind of knew that, but I wanted to reach out anyway. I think if you had a lot of spend with Louis Vuitton, there's like a way that you were able to get them, but I'm not fully sure. So they had auction of these at Sotheby's, like I said, the Secret Con team put in a bid and were able to get a pair. And I think that that's absolutely insane. These are some of the first pairs coming out. 
And again, thank you to SneakerCon for having us here to be able to just showcase this shoe. And uh, I don't know, man, it's crazy. We put them in here to show you the contrast. Now, one thing that I wanted to show you guys is there's actually a listing for a pair of these that you can put in a bid and kind of see what the price is at. Right now, you could buy them. It would cost you, I might accidentally buy them. I don't want to do that. So after tax and everything, now this is if this is even a real thing, because a lot of people put out like these things for sale, but even if you wanted to attempt to buy one, it'd be like $215,000 after tax. $199,999 is the amount you could buy that, and uh, tax would be $16,000. Crazy, crazy. In reality, is this that's in uh, size eight and a half. Now you could buy a size 11 for $10.8 million. If you want to do that, that's a possibility. But uh, that's just showing, it's kind of like an invaluable shoe. The price is, there's not a defined price. It's what somebody's willing to pay. And I think people are willing to pay a lot of money because there, I don't know how many exactly these there are in the world, but they're not many at all. So we got them in the case here to kind of show if you were to kind of take the shoe and travel with it, you could do that if you weren't gonna wrap them all back up. But uh, I think, again, SneakerCon, huge shout out. They're doing SneakerCon in Los Angeles. It's gonna be the next weekend. The date will be up on the screen. I wanna make sure I get the date right. Date will be up on the screen. Go ahead, they're gonna have some sort of display with this sneaker there, and then future SneakerCon events, they will as well. There is a SneakerCon in Atlanta coming up, so I will most likely be the attendance of that if I'm not out of town. So you guys maybe be able to see these there. They should be traveling with them, and I'm super excited for you guys to see these because this is gonna like a once in a lifetime chance to see shoes like this. I think these are gonna be shown a little bit this year and then they're gonna be in a vault and they're gonna be gone and nobody's gonna see them for a long time. So shout out to SneakerCon again. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison and Nick, signing out.